This is my lawn just one month after top dressing and overseeding with Arden 15 Bermuda grass. In this video, I'll show the detailed process I use that'll also help you get a great result with your overseeding project. Let's get started. One of the most important aspects of getting the best possible result with your seeding project is solid preparation. Now, I chose to do my Arden 15 overseed at the end of a recent top dressing project because that's when I knew the lawn would have a nice thin layer of soil and compost to help improve germination rate. Now, you may not be doing what I did in the sense of putting, doing a full top dressing job, because I know it's a ton of work, you gotta bring in an aerator and everything else that goes along with it, but I'd still encourage you to consider putting down just a thin layer of topsoil or compost, since that's gonna do a lot to improve that soil to seed contact, which is gonna help speed up germination, which is what you really want, right? Next, let's actually talk about applying the grass seed. Now, because Bermuda grass seed is so small and light, I like to mix it with a little bit of play sand since that helps give it a bit more body. It helps thicken it up a bit. So whenever you're applying it over your lawn, it goes down a lot more evenly. This is especially important if you happen to be applying it using a broadcast spreader and if there's any kind of wind during the day. Definitely consider using like a 50-50 mix of like Arden 15 and then just play sand that you can get at like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever your big box store that you have near you. Like mix those two together in a bucket, then apply that to the broadcast spreader and put it down on your lawn. It's gonna do a really good job of ensuring the seed doesn't blow all over the place when you're trying to get it down. Now, as far as uh, the spreader settings go, I used a setting of nine or 10 on my Earthway. So if you happen to have the same spreader, a setting of nine or 10 works well with that sand seed mix. If you're not mixing sand with the seed, you're gonna probably wanna go a little bit lighter. Probably seven or eight is gonna work, work a bit better. Now, whenever you're putting down the grass seed, it's important to lightly overlap your passes. I also like to do it in two directions. It's not strictly necessary, but I find that that gets more even coverage. I tend to go lengthwise across my lawn and then backwards and forward. By going in two directions, you're gonna make sure that, again, you get really, really good coverage. Now, once you got the seed down, it's important to help improve that sand seed, seed contact by raking it in. Bermuda grass seed doesn't need to be put down very deeply in the soil. You don't need to be burying it under like an inch or so of, of compost or topsoil. Really about an eighth of an inch to sixteenth of an inch is all you really need for good germination. I like to personally use a leveling rake to drag the entire lawn after I put the seed down, since again, that helps improve that sand seed contact. If you don't have a leveling rake, any kind of rake can work well, but I like a leveling rake because one, it makes the job a lot easier, and it helps to smooth out any kind of compost or soil you have to put down whenever you're getting ready to do the top dressing. Now that you have the seed applied to your lawn, let's talk about the number one reason why most overseeding projects will fail, inadequate watering. Now, I don't want that to happen to you, so make sure you pay attention to this part. Once you get the seed applied throughout your entire lawn, you're going to have to keep the soil moist for two to three weeks. This is especially important for grass types like Kentucky bluegrass or Bermuda grass, since those tend to take closer to that three week period to begin germinating. For most people, that's gonna mean watering two to three times a day. But again, if you live somewhere where it's really hot, like Arizona or Nevada, where again, the temperatures are really high, you may have to water four times a day. And again, over the course of three weeks or so, you absolutely cannot allow the grass to dry out. Can't allow the soil to dry out, because that's gonna hurt your germination results. Now to illustrate how quickly Arden 15 can germinate, again, keyword can germinate under ideal conditions, this planter shows Arden 15 just 10 days after being seeded with adequate sunlight and adequate water. Now fast forward a few weeks later, you can see how nicely this grass has grown in. So this illustrates with good prep, good watering, and great conditions, you can get a good stand of grass in just three to four weeks. Now if you get it all right, you're gonna be rewarded with a deeper green color and the improved cold tolerance of Arden 15. This means a dark bluish green throughout the growing season and a grass that goes into dormancy later in the fall and comes out of dormancy earlier in the spring. Now another nice aspect of Arden 15 is that it blends really nicely with Tifway 419, which is the base grass type in my lawn. This is the primary reason why I chose it because I wanted to make sure that Arden 15 and the existing grass match nicely from a texture standpoint. If you look at the section of my lawn that I top dress a little bit heavier, you can see the Tifway 419 growing through, and you can also see the Arden 15 germinating, and the two from a texture standpoint are pretty much indistinguishable. They play really nicely together. Now, because you guys couldn't get enough of overseeding projects, I started up another project with three different grass types, compadre zoysia, ryegrass, and of course, another Arden 15 plot. If you'd like to see how they develop, along with all the special experiments I've got planned for them the rest of this growing season, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you'd like three easy tips to help improve the quality of your lawn this growing season that work for both warm season and cool season grass, I've got a video here for you to watch next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.